Good morning. Welcome to the forecast discussion for Friday, February 24th, 2017. It's currently 6.40 a.m. And it is going to be a very warm day for much of the region, except for Long Island. Yep, unfortunately, the winds coming right off the Atlantic Ocean is going to keep Long Island basically in the lower to mid-50s on the South Shore. In the interior and on the North Shore, that temperatures in the mid to upper 50s. However, if you head towards central New Jersey, basically all New Jersey, uh, with the exception of the immediate coast, uh, even portions of the New York City metro will be in the lower to mid 60s. But then as you head towards the Delaware River Valley, we're talking about temperatures in the upper 60s to lower 70s throughout the region with very comfortable weather in place. Enjoy it while you can because a cold front tomorrow evening is going to put an end to all this warm weather. And we're going to be more in a pattern where we have still some warm temperatures, but not 20 degrees above normal as we are seeing right now. So let's dive into this forecast. As far as the radar is concerned, pretty much high and dry. We do have some isolated showers moving through northeastern Pennsylvania and heading up towards the Hudson River Valley. We'll continue to see a threat for these showers to develop over the region and head to the northeast, but they'll be widely isolated to a widely scattered to isolated and they will be generally weak but the reason why we have that shower threat is because of this stationary front i will continue to lift north as a warm front but as it does so i can't rule out an isolated shower or thunderstorm developing to the south of this boundary most locations though especially along the coast will remain dry with scattered cloud cover in place this area of low pressure will lift northward into the central Great Lakes and then into the St. Lawrence River Valley. And as doing so, this cold front will move through the region tomorrow evening, producing showers and even a few isolated thunderstorms. Ahead of this cold front, warm temperatures will be in place, with the exception of Long Island, with the south shore in the lower to mid 50s, north shore, north shore mid to upper 50s, but everyone else, upper 60s to lower 70s throughout the region with very comfortable weather conditions before the cold front moves through with showers and thunderstorms starting at around 5 p.m. and continuing on through the late evening hours. So looking at the forecast for this morning, sky cloud cover is expected. Watch out for an isolated shower or thunderstorm continuing through the afternoon and evening hours. Temperatures will rise into the upper 60s to lower 70s for most locations, lower to mid 50s on the south shore of Long Island, mid to upper 50s on the north shore of Long Island, yeah, you miss out on the warm temperatures this time, but you can pretty much blame the Atlantic Ocean for that, which you'll be very grateful for in the summer when everyone else is in the upper 90s to lower 100s, right? On, on to tomorrow morning, look for scattered showers developing. Most locations are going to remain dry, but I can't rule out a passing shower or two as this cold front approaches. Temperatures tomorrow range from the lower to mid 50s for lows, Temperatures ahead of the cold front in the afternoon in the upper 60s to lower 70s. Again, cooler on Long Island. By the time we get to the evening hours, that cold front will be moving through the region. Those showers and thunderstorms will feature heavy downpours, the potential for wind gusts over 60 miles per hour, and some isolated lightning strikes. This cold front will move through quickly, though, and by the time we get to about midnight, most locations will be drying out. On Sunday, high pressure will be in control and much colder. Look for a brisk northwest wind around 10 to 20 miles per hour. Lows in the upper 20s to lower 30s. Highs in the lower to mid 40s. So we get one day of cold weather and then we moderate on Monday. High pressure off the coast, southwesterly wind. Lows in the upper 20s to lower 30s. Highs in the mid 50s. On Tuesday, sky cloud covers expected. Can't rule out a few isolated showers. Lows in the lower 40s, highs in the mid to upper 50s. On Wednesday, a warm front will move through the region. Look for scattered showers throughout the area. Lows in the mid 40s, highs in the upper 50s to lower 60s. On Thursday, the cold front moves through with showers in the morning, followed by clearing skies. Look for lows in the mid to upper 40s, highs in the lower to mid 50s. Again, above normal temperatures, relatively mild week, just not 20 degrees above normal. On Friday, high pressure will be in control with sky cloud cover. Look for temperatures to be pretty much seasonable for this time of year. Upper 20s to lower 30s for lows and mid to upper 40s for highs. We're going to keep an eye on this low pressure system right here that will rapidly intensify 
over the Canadian Maritimes towards the towards next weekend, producing a much colder air mass by the time we get to about March 5th through March 8th. But don't worry, it won't last long as moderation follows thereafter. So that is your forecast discussion for today. Thank you for following NYNJPA weather, and as always, stay safe out there.